Let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. This team is currently 6-3, and three, and I'm worried about this team. And it's because the injuries that they have on the defensive side of their linebacking room, they're decimated. No Cole Holcomb. He blew his knee out against Tennessee Titans, and now you don't have Quan Alexander as well. He tore his Achilles against the Green Bay Packers. So now they have to depend on the Landon Roberts. That's going to be a very interesting thing to follow as the season progresses. Hopefully, Mika Fitzpatrick can come back sooner than later to help out that secondary because they definitely need them. The secondary is up and down. When it's bad, it looks like one of the worst secondaries in the NFL. But when it's good, it's really good. When Joy Porter Jr. is not holding on to wide receivers and Patrick Peterson starting to turn the clock back, you get good plays like how you got yesterday against Christian Watson. But this video isn't about their defense. It's about Kenny Pickett. I'm worried. You know, last season I made a lot of excuses. It was his first year in the NFL. Let him get comfortable with the team. The last couple of games, he showed that he could be a very good quarterback with this team. He had that impressive throw against the Baltimore Ravens and back in the end zone to Najee Harris. This season, Kenny Pickett has regressed. The only game that he had a true good performance in was against the Las Vegas Raiders. And at the time, they were being coached by one of the worst head coaches in the NFL. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you. That's what I always do with every team. They can win a lot of football games, which they have done. They, they have six wins for a reason. They have been outgained offensively in every game this season. But Kenny Pickett has not been good this season. Besides that Las Vegas Raiders game, he has been a game manager at best. And that hurts for me to say because I was high on Kenny Pickett when the Steelers drafted him. I'm starting to have a lot of regrets and a lot of doubts right now with Kenny Pickett. I understand against Tennessee Titans, he was playing with hurt ribs. But against the Green Bay Packers, he missed a lot of throws. And Deontay Johnson dropped a lot of passes as well. And Deontay J Johnson dropped a major pass in Jacksonville Jaguars game. and was the first pass of the game. He has to do a better job of catching the football. He was very solid last season. When it came to not dropping the football, he's regressed. He needs to do a better job of holding on to the football. Kenny Pickett has to do a better job of reading NFL defenses. Right now, he just can't. And we saw it in the Houston Texans game. Matt Canada called shotgun. Najee Harris was wide open. He locked into the middle of the field. He tried to run away. He got himself sacked. He hurt his knee. And a lot of people blame Matt Canada for that. But when you go and look at film, you slow it down. Najee Harris is wide open. Let's take another look against the Los Angeles Rams. He had a decent day. His numbers look good. But if you look at the game, the defense basically carried him through. They won that game 20. 4 to 17. Kenny Pickett has zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. He was 17 to 25, 230 passing yards. That looks good on surface level. The reason why he was able to go out there and have those numbers, he was dealing with short field. They got a lot of turnovers in that game, and they're putting a lot of pressure on Matthew Stafford. And he was able to go in and get some QB sneaks for touchdowns. That is not going to happen every single week. And you look at what happened against the Cleveland Browns earlier this season. Their defense was able to go out there, get a pick six out of with Alice Highsmith, go out there and get a fumble for six from T.J. Watt. So Kenny Pickett didn't have to score much in that game. That's 14 points already. The only thing that he had to do was throw across the middle of the field and let George Pickens do the rest for a 75-yard touchdown. That was it. And the game against the Las Vegas Raiders, the only game that he's had two passing touchdowns in or multiple touchdown passing in, he threw one of the passes, Scraped down the middle of the field. Calvin Austin third did the rest for him. Now, that's a good throw because he didn't overthrow him or, or underthrow him. One thing that is bothering me a lot with Kenny Pickett is his throw power. Either he's underthrowing a slant that can go for an interception, like how it almost went for it in the San Francisco 49ers game, but they did get him on a bad underthrow in that game for an interception, or he's overthrowing wide receivers like how he was doing against the Tennessee Titans. He has to clean that up. These are layup passes that he is missing right now. And if he can't connect on these passes and the wide receivers can catch the football and they're not getting any missing blocking assignments up front, they can easily win this division. You may call me crazy, but they can do that. With the defensive players that they have, they can get some things going. Take this for example. TJ Watt, one of the best defensive players in the NFL. He could single-handedly transform a game. Same with Alex Highsmith. They did it against the Cleveland Browns. Their special teams transformed the game against the Baltimore Ravens when they blocked a punt and it went for a safety. That's two points their way and they get the ball back in short yardage as well because the kicker was having an off day that day for the Baltimore Ravens when it came to the kick return. 
So I'm not worried about their special teams, their defense, their secondary. It is what it is at this point. You have Joy Porter Jr. He's a corner that's learning, still developing. Patrick Peterson is on the le- is on the last legs of his career. He has a lot of good moments and a lot of bad moments as well. When they have Mika Fitzpatrick, they're a better unit. The only thing I'm worried about with their defense, basically the linebackers. That's it. But their offense, they have ran the football better the last couple of weeks with Najee Harris, with Jalen Warren. And that's part of the reason to why they beat the Green Bay Packers. They ran the football over and over and over again. They ran down their throat. It looked very good. You can say the referees were off in the Packers game when it came to the offensive pass interference from Calvin Austin. It doesn't matter. Kenny Pickett missed a lot of layup passes in that game as well. It's not like the Steelers are asking him to go out there and throw tight window throws like he's Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow. They're scheming guys open. And I know that's crazy for me to say because I still believe Matt Canada is a horrible offensive coordinator. But guys were open against the Green Bay Packers. He could not cash in. And he has to in these big time moments. We're heading into December and January. And this is where the rubber meets the road. He's going to have to be a better quarterback for this team. He's going to have to prove that he is a franchise quarterback because if he can't, This team can't go far with him playing like this. 126 passing yards is not going to get it done against the Cleveland Browns. That's not going to get it done against the Cincinnati Bengals. And I'm worried about the Steelers if they do get into a shootout. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Their defense can keep their head afloat and they can continue to use Kenny Pickett in the game manager situation. I believe the best thing for the Steelers to do offensively Obviously, run the football with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. They were not able to do that for the first couple of games of the season. That's why their offense has looked better the last couple of weeks. Continue to run the football and work off of play action. Make things simple with Kenny Pickett. Cut off the routes when it's 20 to 30 yards down the field. Keep everything underneath and run off of play action and just make him deliver the ball. And they can still try to stack the box. I believe that Browser Jones is so good on his side of the field that you can run behind him. You can get some things going. And I do believe when they get Pat Firemute back, hopefully they use him more because he hasn't been used much since Big Ben retired. But the success moving forward with the Steelers is definitely going to have to come down to Kenny Pickett and the play calling of Matt Canada. More so Kenny Pickett because I give him Matt Canada a lot of flack in the past. I have to give him a lot of credit as well for what he's been doing lately. The last two games have been better. It's still not perfect, but it has been better since he decided to come down from the booth and coach on the field. But let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the Pittsburgh Steelers and can they realistically win this division? And do you think Kenny Pickett can be a better quarterback moving forward with this team? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, one each and every last one of you guys stay safe, stay positive. Have a blessed day, guys. Peace.